Hi guys, this is Michelle and I am back with my month 17 update. So this will be my update for June. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about myself. I am 46 years old. I am 5'3 currently. <laughs> um, I had a six month supervised diet that started in May of 2016. Um, at the start of that diet, at the start of that, I was 286.8 pounds. Yeah. And then I had surgery on January 4th of 2017. On the day of surgery, I was 251.8 pounds. How much do I weigh today? Today, I am 178.4 pounds. So, let's talk about the numbers. So, since last month, that is an 8.4 pound loss since last month, which is awesome. It is 108.4 pounds since the start of this whole process. It's 73.4 pounds since I had surgery. And it is 141 pounds down from my all-time highest weight. So yeah, 8.4 pounds for the month. Thank you, intermittent fasting, because that's the only reason why that number happened. That is the biggest loss that I think I've had in a year. Um, I didn't go back and look, but I'm pretty sure it's probably been a year uh, since I've lost that much weight in a month. And the other thing is, is that the majority of all of that is new pounds lost. Like it's not regain because for me it seems to be a little bit easier to lose regain so I had still I was up well, I was up about one pound uh, still from my lowest weight and so all the other pounds that I've lost is new weight because I have been stuck in the 180s for the past six months so I am very happy about being 178.4 I still can't even believe it Wow, 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 wow. Um, so let's talk about this month a little bit. Um, if you saw my crazy videos that I had just recently posted about my five day fast, that totally was not planned for June. And I know that the whole reason that I've lost all this weight was mostly because of that. So before I started the fast, I had lost about a pound and a half. Um, and then during the fast, I lost, I don't remember, nine and a half pounds or so. I regained about half of that back uh, a few days later. But as you can see, as the month continued, I still have continued to lose a little bit of weight. So I expected that I was going to regain some weight back from that fast. I actually ended up keeping more off than I even expected. Um, I don't know how much of that is due to me just, you know, really buckling down this month, but then also the intermittent fasting. I don't know. It, it doesn't matter because that's just all part of my routine. I'm just very happy with those results. So let's take a look at my calendar. So this is my finished calendar for June. And let's go back over seven hours of sleep. 2 liters of water, 6,500 steps, workout, 50 total carbs. So it's kind of hard to look at this this way. You can see I had two days where I only got one star, but at least I didn't have any days with zero stars, so I am proud of that. I went through and I counted my stars just out of curiosity. So the thing that I did the worst on was my sleep. I only got seven hours of sleep 47% of the time. So that's terrible. That's less than, please Allegra, that's less than half of the amount of time that I'm supposed to have. Now the thing that I did the best on was my water. So with water, I was on track 90% of the time. So actually only three days out of the entire month did I not get my two liters of water in? That was awesome. 
Uh, the other thing I did really good with was my 50 net carb. I mean, 50 total carbs. Um, only four days out of the entire month did I not have my 50 total carbs. Uh, my steps. Only six days out of the whole month did I not get my steps. And then my workout, I... Trying to read my handwriting here. So I had 19 out of 30 days. So 63% of the time I did a workout. Now my definition of workout probably will not fit other people's definition of a workout. To me, it was doing something besides walking for at least 15 minutes. So if I did yoga, I counted that as a workout. If I did a strength routine, like with my arms and things, I counted that as a workout. Get on, getting on my elliptical. So the majority of the time, these stars are for my elliptical. So if I got on my elliptical for at least 15 minutes during the day, that counted as a workout. Only one time in the entire month did I actually get on my treadmill. Um, so that's actually a goal for next month to get on my treadmill a little bit more and to run a little bit more. Um, so I'm not very strict on my definition of working out. I'm just trying to do other things, working on, you know, resistance training, building my muscle slowly but steady. <laughs> um, I had done measurements at the beginning of the month, but I can't figure out what I did with the piece of paper. So I will have to talk about my measurements probably in my intermittent fasting videos. So let me tell you about that. So just in case you're not interested in intermittent fasting at all, I'm going to start having some separate intermittent fasting videos that I will post every week. And so you can choose to watch those if you want to hear more about what I'm doing on the intermittent fasting front. I will talk about it a little bit in these monthly update videos because it is an important part of my monthly update. So what have I been doing? this month in terms of my intermittent fasting. For the most part, every single day, I have been sticking with 12 to 13 hours water fast, really trying to get the 13 hours every day, water for, you know, 13 hours. Then at about the 13 hour mark, then I have my coffee with just um, a tablespoon of heavy whipping cream, Sometimes, occasionally, I might put MCT oil in there. I might put butter in there. Maybe. It depends on if I'm really, really hungry, then that's why I'll put something else in there. Because for me, the purpose of the coffee, I'm not keto. I'm not using it to try to get my fat up, per se. Although, number one, I do like using it to get my calories up because my calories are very low. But I'm using it for energy to help me get to 16 hours before eating any food. So that is my goal is to not actually eat until 16 hours fasted. So in order to help me with that, I do have some apps on my phone. I will talk about these in more detail in my fasting video, but I'm just gonna quickly show you. I'm using two different apps. <laughs> So one app is called Zero, and you can see where it says goal 13 hours. So when I, as soon as I eat, finish eating my last meal of the day, I press start fasting, and then from that point on, it will start counting down. And then the next morning, it will actually send me a text letting me know when my 13 hours is up. The reason I like doing this is because then I don't have to Pay attention to exactly what time I finish eating. It's like I'm done eating, boom, I press start fasting, that's it. So that then the next morning, like I said, yeah, I don't have to worry about it. And you can see here how I've been doing for the past few days. A lot of days I've gone over the 13 hours. So a couple slips there. That one that's kind of low, that was a 12 hour day. But anyway, so I have this app. So basically, this is water fasting. You can set it for whatever time you want it to be. So then I have another app because I want it to be able to keep track of my water fasting and my um, fasting from food. So the other app is called Fast Habit. 
So this app is counting down. So this app, I have it set for 16 hours because pretty much once I, so when I stop eating the night before, I press start fasting on both of these apps. Then um, when I get ready to eat real food, then that's when I press stop on this app. So you see this app is currently plus here because Right now I'm fasted for 18 hours and 26 minutes because I'm attempting to do a 48 hour fast. I don't know how that's going to go because ever since I did the five day fast, I still haven't been able to like fast for 24 hours. So twice I've tried to just fast for 24 hours and I only made it 20 hours before I had to quit. So, Today, I am doing a 24-hour fat fast where I'm just having coffee and cream and maybe a little MCT oil. And then tomorrow, my plan is a 24-hour water fast. Having the fat fast first should help make tomorrow easier. And like I said, I'm going to be doing some intermittent fasting videos where I will talk more about exactly why I'm doing that and film a little bit of the whole thing in that video. So take a look there. So on July 4th is my 18 month surge -versary. I was hoping to be at goal by my 18 months. Now when I say that I, well, let's see how to say it. I, I thought it would be nice to be able to say yes by 18 months I reached goal and I think in January or in December I was thinking that yes it was going to be very doable for me to get to my goal by July 4th however as the months went on you know I started having a lot of issues at the end of January with my nerve pain and then just other stressful things happening in my life in February and March and April I started in my mind to really not believe that I actually maybe was ever going to get down to 169. I never said this out loud, but I think I, I, in my mind, even though I hadn't given up on trying to lose weight and I hadn't given up on this process, which is why I had my calendar, I think in the back of my mind, I actually never really believed that I even was going to make it to 169. And even that's a high goal, but that's my surgeon's goal. And so right now that's my goal. Um, when I was doing the five day fast, I did have a few emotional periods. When I saw the scale dip down into the 170s for the first time, I practically cried because I realized that I'm not even sure that I believe that I was ever going to see the 170s. So I haven't been in the 170s in 26 years, 26 years. And even though, like I said, I had never given up lose, trying to lose weight, somehow I don't think I ever really still thought that the scale was going to get down that low. <laughs> I don't know where I thought it was going to go, but I just, I don't know. And when I started doing fasting, or especially during my five-day fast, I felt that it's possible. Like, I feel like I have new hope that not only 169 but maybe even lower than that i'm not i'm not really going that far yet with my thoughts but i just feel like anything is possible right now and that is a really great feeling so let me talk to you about my goals for next month so july actually all of my goals are exactly the same except for oh I increased my step goal up to 6,800 steps a day. So that's 300 more steps a day. Now I was going to do 7,000 steps, but I didn't want to. <laughs> I still want it to be very, very doable. And it is my goal to really do it every single day. So let's see, so last month, so last month I had six days that I didn't get my steps in. I really, really want to get as close to perfect with my steps as possible. And that's why I have it as a reasonable goal instead of like 
something much higher where it would be much harder for me to try to get it in every day, I would probably only get it in a few days a week. Um, anyway, so that's why I'm, I'm keeping that low so that I can actually hit it. And then I'm just going to work more on work, getting more workout days in. Oh, I forgot. I'm also decreasing my carbs. Okay, so the 50 total carbs was ridiculously easy. Um, so I'm going to go back to net carbs and this time I am trying 35 net carbs, which is something I've never done. I have for almost all my journey, I've been doing 50 net carbs. So, and then just for the past two months, I was doing 50 total carbs. So now I'm going back to net carbs just to see and I'm going all the way down to 35. And the reason I picked 35 was because I did notice that most of the time when I was doing 50 total carbs, quite often my carbs were in the 40s and 30s. Actually, they quite often were in the 30s. And, but I like getting credit for my vegetables, and so I wanna get back to net carbs. And also I have noticed with this fasting, you know, decreasing my carbs, I mean, being keto, makes it would make it even easier um and some days i probably am keto i mean i did have some days where i only had like 10 carbs and a whole bunch of fat because it wasn't a whole bunch of protein because i can't eat a lot of protein so i don't even have a bunch of protein in my diet um but i'm not i'm not going all the way keto but i am decreasing my carbs because i do feel like Ever since I did that five day fast, I feel like my metabolism has changed or the way that my body processes carbs has changed. And so I feel better on fewer carbs. So that's why I'm trying 35 net carbs this month and we will see how I do. Um, my body fat. So one of the other reasons that I wanted to do intermittent fasting was to work on my body fat because it's pretty high. So at the start of the month, my body fat percentage, according to this, so this is what I'm using. I'm sure you can still get these on Amazon. I've had this for about five years or so. I bought it after um, the gym that I belong to, this is what they used for everyone. And then I looked up reviews on Amazon and people said good things about it, so I ordered it. So I periodically test my body fat with this. Um, when I first started this whole process, I was more than 50% body fat. But considering all the weight I have lost, that is not a lot of body fat that I feel like I have lost. So intermittent fasting is supposed to help a lot with body fat. So at the beginning of June, my body fat was 42%. And then this morning I did it and it was 40.4%. So that's really good. And you know, I don't know how accurate this is. I don't know how accurate this is, but I figure it's probably consistent with itself. So I don't know if in the real world, if yeah, if with a DEXA scan, I'm probably not really 40.4%. But if I'm going down at least by this using this same thingy, then that's good enough. I mean, and I am thinking about maybe doing a DEXA scan one of these days um, as I get more and more into intermittent fasting. I probably should do it sooner rather than later, huh? So that I can really see the results <laughs> but I am going to be getting some okay so next month July I will be having a physical with my doctor and I will be having my labs done uh, for my 18 months I am NOT going to go to my bariatric surgeons clinic for my 18 months I've decided that I'm going to wait and just go at the two-year mark and I'm gonna have my regular doctor draw my labs you know why not just go to one doctor so I'm going to do all of that in July, but I'm also going to get some additional labs drawn to help see where I am in terms of inflammation in my body. Like I said, I'll talk more about that in my intermittent fasting video. Since fasting is supposed to be helping with that, I'm going to be getting some labs to help me see how well I'm progressing with that. Here in Arizona, you don't need a doctor's order to get lab tests. You can pay for your lab tests yourself. And there are a lot of places around here that do discounted 
lab tests for people to be able to pay. Now, years ago, like I used to never, ever, ever go to the doctor, but I knew that it was important to keep an eye on your, an eye on how you were doing. So every other year, I used to go and get my own cholesterol labs. I would test my thyroid. I would make sure I wasn't diabetic. I would do that like every other year. And that's what made me feel okay about never going to the doctor because I knew that my labs were good. And now I've realized that, oh, I can go and pay to get some of these other lab tests done to help see how I'm doing with my intermittent fasting, to see how well it is really working to do not only lose weight, but, you know, to help me with uh, other health concerns. So see my intermittent fasting video for that. Um, I think that's really it, I think. So really for these monthly update videos, I will only be coming once a month, but you will see other fasting. My intermittent fasting videos will be several times a month. I have some more clothing videos coming and maybe some food haul videos for July. So thank you. I have a whole bunch of new subscribers. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because Minnie Me in Tennessee tagged me in a video and she has like so many subscribers. So I don't know if that's where people came from or my fasting video. I don't know. All of a sudden I have a lot of new people. So thank you very much. And for the people who tagged me in that weight loss surgery tag, I will be doing that soon. Maybe today. I don't know. I mean, even if I do it today, I'm not going to upload it today, but whatever. It'll be coming soon. So you guys, thank you as always for watching and feel free to comment below. Bye.